Far, I'll give you after Lillian. Please don't open any debate on Sabina Chege. There's no motion on Sabina Chege here. I'm well guided, uh, Honorable Speaker, Papa. And I must uh, stand here, Honorable Speaker, to commend you on the way you have conducted the uh, uh, dissidents in the House in this afternoon. And uh, as a member of Parliament who is do doing her second term, Honorable Speaker, I've been here for five years. And I was graced to get another five years. This is a house of elected representatives, Honorable Speaker. And when members want to start insinuating and attacking the personality, the orientation, and how certain gender looks, Honorable Speaker, it is despicable. We only have elected representatives in this house. And Honorable Speaker, for one to be locked behind this door to be called a member of National Assembly, especially for a woman member, Honorable Speaker, it costs more than enough if it is not for the life of that particular woman. I beg you, Papa. There is a tendency that is coming up in this house of members wanting to entertain the house using the gender of the woman. And this we will not allow as women leaders of this country. Honorable Speaker, when a member takes time to say, don't look my direction, I do not want you. This is not a house of wanting each other. This is not a house of sexuality, Honorable Speaker. This is not a house where people want to come and talk about sexual insinuations, Honorable Speaker. Kenyans are looking up to us to debate on matters that are current, to debate on matters that affect the nation, to move the nation forward, and not to talk about sexuality, you Honorable made your Speaker. Point, I thank you. I thank you, Papa. The Farah, what is your point of order?